Excuse me, I hate to bother you, but are you from this area? Could you help me find my husband? He went off again and I... I don't know what to do. My husband is a talented minstrel. Very talented. We live in Auradon, but he came to Grotwood to play for new faces. He was only supposed to be gone for a few weeks, but after two months passed, I figured I'd better come look for him. No! And this isn't the first time. His songs, you see, they... they make the heart sore. He has many ardent admirers, and he isn't... his will isn't so strong. The last town on his itinerary was South Point. I went there, but they wouldn't let me in. Sorian is very much aware of the depths of his talent. That can rub some people the wrong way. I do hope he hasn't landed in trouble he can neither sing nor play his way out of. He's already well known across Auradon, but with the rise of the Dominion, all of Valenwood opened up to him. Places we couldn't travel before. He wanted his fame to spread all the way to the Imperial City. I just want to find him and go home. Songs of love and romance. He says he can only sing about those things which resonate with his soul. But I've begun to suspect he's more concerned with amassing admirers than coin. No. He intended to play every inn across Valenwood. I went to see if he made it to South Point, but I was turned away by soldiers. This is my first trip to Grotwood, so I don't know much about the area, and I don't want to. Auradon is far more beautiful. Still seeing 20 fingers. That can't be good. Captain, are there two of you standing there? Oh, I thought you were someone else. I guess I'm still seeing double. And also hallucinating. I took a blow to the head during the mutiny. Been double hallucinating ever since. I was quartermaster on the Albatross until Broughty Bloodshark led a mutiny. He and his traitors captured most of the crew, while we explored the Cave of Broken Sails for a lost treasure. The captain should be up by the cave. She can tell you more. You aren't with the Dominion, are you? I am captain of the independent sailing vessel Albatross. We found a map to an imperial treasury that led us here, to the Cave of Broken Sails. But when we tried to claim it, our fortunes ebbed with the tides. We are tired of sailing independently. We planned to hand over the treasure to the Thalmor so they could make us privateers. But Browdy Bloodshark led a mutiny, captured most of my crew, and kidnapped my wife. Once he has the treasure, He'll kill them all. Of course. You're the only hope I have of getting my wife back from Broughty Bloodshark. I'll tell you everything I know about the Imperial death traps inside that cave. Broughty Bloodshark thinks she can unravel the secrets of the treasure's guardians. He'll keep her alive until she's no longer useful. Or until he sees me. Said he'd kill her the moment I show my face. Bass. Undead guardians. The Imperials must really want to keep people away from the treasure if they resorted to necromancy. Oh, and watch the floors for traps. Fire, spike plates, one wrong step and you'll be mutton on a spit. I ran. Sword arm was useless, and there's no way I can rescue my crew if I'm dead. Didn't realize so few of us escaped. But you're nowhere near as banged up. 
If you help rescue my crew, my wife, well, not all the treasure has to go to Elden Root. All right. You can access the cave through the old mine behind me. Oh, and if you spot any of my crew, send them this way. We'll need more numbers to take out the mutineers. Is anyone there? Help! I surrender! You're not one of those mutineer bastards. Please, you have to help me! A sailor on the Albatross. There was a mutiny. Broughty Bloodshark captured us and forced us to set off the traps in this damned cave. We fell one by one. Some of us ran. But I haven't seen any other crew. Aside from Nutal, I mean. He's my trained monkey. Well, he's more than that. Full-fledged crew monkey of the Albatross. We have him untie hard-to-reach knots in the rigging. Wait, have you seen any of my crew? We can't be the only ones to escape the bloodbath in the cave. The captain's alive? Rachin's luck! That's good news! Listen, Broughty Bloodshark is dead set on getting into the Imperial Vault. If Captain Linwen sent you to find the crew, You'd better get there before that bloodthirsty bastard kills them all off. Here, take this bag of dried fruit. Toss some at the disarming mechanism, and Nutal will do the rest. That little guy is the only way I made it through. You two stay safe. I'll find the captain. We won't leave you to do this alone.
thought I'd never escape. at the last. You work fast. Bulog found us and told us what happened. All we had to do was follow the trail of corpses and disarmed traps. Bulog said you went after the treasure that had Browdy Bloodshock so worked up. Did you find it? Let me see those papers. Preservation room? Oh no. Browdy Bloodshock doesn't have enough mutineers to crew the Albatross. Bulog said he kept going on about needing a skeleton crew. I think he meant a crew literally made of skeletons. It must be why he needs my wife. The writing on the back of Fainir's map was coded, except for the phrase, Preservation Ritual. That must be it. Once she decodes the ritual, Browdy Bloodshark will turn my crew into his undead minions. The last we saw, Boson Fearin guarded the long hall into the Great Cavern. If that crafty bastard sees me approach, he'll fall back and warn Browdy Bloodshark. Then my wife dies. If he hasn't already fallen to the undead, I want you to hold his attention while we slip by and free up some more of my crew. Oh, Bulag wanted to speak with you before you left. But if you just want to get moving, we'll see you inside the Great Cavern. I thought I'd never escape.
Who are you? What? You want to chat? <sighs> Thought this day couldn't get any stranger. He picks a time like this to gossip? Yeah, I took a serpent to my breast. Should I be surprised it bit? Don't see why it concerns you. Then hurry. There's a code on the back of the treasure map, and he's forcing the captain's wife to break it. Seems the undead in here can't truly die. So if he breaks the code, they're his to command. When you kill him, don't you dare make it gentle. Come to stare at a dying nod, eh? Uh, hate to disappoint you. None of it's fatal. Guess we're allies. Never thought he'd be the type for gold madness. But treasure chipped away at his honor. Said he was angry the captain wanted to buy our way into the Dominion, the liar. I laughed when he realized the treasure wasn't gold. He always wanted to carve out his own empire. With these siege weapons and supplies, he thinks he can do it. But where is he going to get the soldiers to use them? He's an oathbreaker and a fool. If you don't put him out of his misery, I will. <coughs> You'll not get past me! Nice work back there. Nuthal found an old vent that led to this chamber. More climbing than I'd have liked, but we made it through. My crew is making short work of the mutineers behind us, but there are still plenty more in the cavern. Agreed. But we need to draw him out. Otherwise, he'll order the mutineers to kill my crew. And if he sees my face, Fainir is as good as dead. We have to be smart about this. With fire. There's a barrel of kindle pitch on the docks. If you burn the Imperial War supplies on the docks, everyone will be too focused on putting it out to worry about Browdy Bloodshark. When he shows his face, you can stick a blade through it. Here. Take this whistle. Give it a sharp blast, and my crew will help you fight any mutineers in your path. Once they're distracted, we'll keep the mutineers off your back while you hunt Browdy Bloodshark. Good luck. What are you doing out there? We 
have to get out of here. You don't understand. He's insane. He'll keep trying to control the undead until he succeeds. Then it's over. There's no way the mutineers will fight without him. Toward the end, he frightened even his most loyal sailors. Have you seen Captain Linwin? Is she all right? Thank the gods. If only I'd burn the cursed map to this place. But perhaps there's something to salvage here. The Dominion will welcome a cave full of Imperial war supplies. That should be enough for a full pardon and a letter of mark. You must know of our raids across the Long Coast. Well, that's behind us now. The treasure will wipe our debts clean so we can put our talents to use in the Queen's own navy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to find my wife. He said if I didn't break the traitors the code, lost their fight once you killed Broughty Bloodshark. I'd rather hang the lot of them, but Fania said some were coerced into it. Even so, they'll need some kind of punishment. What we first planned to do, once we inventory the weapons and supplies in this cave, we'll present the list to the Thalmor. If they like what they see, they'll give us our amnesty and make us part of the Queen's own navy. We were, but those days are over. I should have seen they never would be for Browdy Bloodshark. The damnable thing is, he was an excellent first mate. Up until the promise of treasure warped his mind, I suppose. Those who planned it will hang. The rest who were forced into it, they can leave, unless my crew objects. I need to spend some time with Fainir. Before you go, Find Bulag. He put something together for you. Our way of saying thanks. It may not be much, but Bulag scraped together a reward. We can't exactly pay you in catapults. Not if we want the Dominion to take us in. What you did for us, we won't forget it. Because it's the unluckiest thing I could think of. The sight of those birds terrify sailors from one end of Tamriel to the other. You'd think they were Daedric princes with wings. I don't want my ship filled with superstitious fools moaning about the Draugr below the waves, or cursed gold and treasure chests. I want a straight-backed crew ready to knock the Draugr overboard and dispel ancient curses, so we can spend the gold. The captain will decide what to do with you. I bet the dead of Tanzelwil had a lot to say about Iren. Which one of these bastards has my ring? Ah, this one has full You're pockets. You're lucky we haven't hanged you yet. Fools thought we trained the captain would pay off. Can't say where the Albatross will head next, but you're always welcome aboard. None of us will forget what you did here. And Nutal won't forget either. Saving our lives is a little more than just help. Next time you see us, we'll be privateers. Nutal and I are going to miss you. We scrounged a bit and came up with something. I hope it serves you well.
Meet Igmane. Even the Lord of Domination needs spy. Sometimes the prey turns and nips us. It is a small thing. Trust me. Tread carefully. An army is massing under our feet. I don't know how this happened. Somehow the Covenant has managed to fill this ruin with troops, and more seem to be arriving as if out of thin air. It must be magic. No other explanation. This is the only entrance or exit to the ruin. The Red Guards must be using a portal to enter the ruin. They probably thought they could avoid detection until they had a force big enough to attack. If there's a portal, and I'll eat my armor if there isn't, we need to seal it before reinforcements arrive. A lone scout will have an easier time than a full force. We don't have the numbers to face them head-on anyway. I appreciate it. Take this wand, and use it to disrupt the portal. Be careful, though. Don't try to fight everybody. It'll be a waste if you die before closing that portal.
Any luck? Did you find the source of the... Excellent. To be honest, I wasn't sure you would return at all. This is a favorable turn. Now we can secure this area and ensure it is not a weak link in our defense of the region. You have my gratitude. I appreciate your vigilance, but the Argonians and the Grey Mire are guests. Refrain from any further displays of zeal or I'll have you scrub down the barricade. Dismissed. Are you here about the refugees? I've already explained this to three inspectors from Elden Root. Until their status is resolved, the Argonians are to remain within the enclosure. Praise Ifri. Someone who isn't going on about Argonian spies. Last year, this tribe arrived in Grotwood as refugees. But because we're all part of the Dominion now, my superiors can't decide what to do with them. Absolutely not. This entire tribe was enslaved by Dark Elves. They have more reason to hate the Ebonheart Pact than you or I. But someone in Elden Root decides to set an example, and now there are barricades. It's why I need outside help. Here's a list of the tribe's leaders. I need to know why they refuse to speak with us. Unless my report says they're cooperating, my superiors have an excuse to exile them. Soldiers and barricades aren't exactly a welcoming feast. But unless the Argonians are willing to speak with us, they won't stay in Grotwood for much longer. Utarte is some kind of spiritual leader, friendly sort. Slimjar fishes for a living, with eyes as cold and dead as her catches. As for No Fingers, I have no idea what he does, but the tribe respects him. No. As a justiciar, the Thorma Inner Council directs me to investigate and enforce Dominion law. They've never given me soldiers. Without an armed encampment, the Argonians might have trust in me. But that's not how they see it in Elden Root. Welcome. What brings you to the Greymire? Then you're a wandering soul, much like our tribe was. Without the gracious Wood Elves, we would still roam Tamriel in search of a new home. Once the Dominion understand the depth to our gratitude, I'm certain they'll remove the barricades. Please, ask me anything. The Dominion capital is the Wood Elf city of Elden Root. The bulk of its armies are Wood Elf soldiers. I see no difference between the Dominion and our Wood Elf benefactors. The tribe's leadership will soon meet to discuss this matter. Some fear the Dominion planned to enslave us, as the Dark Elves once did. I hope to put this absurdity to rest. You're welcome to attend the meeting, Wanderer. We have nothing to hide. We were slaves to Dark Elves for generations. When the Ebonheart Pact formed, we refused to fight beside our former captors. They called us traitors and banished us from our lands. We roamed Tamriel for years, and only stopped when we reached Grotwood. We asked the Wood Elves here for temporary shelter. 
Instead, they gave us the Greymire. All they asked was that we work the land and set aside some of our fish. For this, we must always be grateful. Going on. I'm up. I'm awake. I was dreaming of speckled fish. Now I'm hungry and wet. Explain yourself. Despite what you may have heard, a bucket of water to the face isn't a traditional Argonian greeting. But I'm not one to stand on ceremony. What's on your mind? As long as I can raise my guar and sleep in the shade, I don't care who rules this land. We want to live in peace, as a free people. If the Dominion supports us, then I support the Dominion. I'd find somewhere else to sleep in the shade. Some of the rough skins in this village might not see it the same way. I wouldn't go throwing buckets of water on them. You might lose a finger. The meeting. I nearly slept through it. Udate wants to discuss the grumbling about the barricades. You should come. See how we govern ourselves. I've roamed from one end of Tamriel to the other, handling vicious beasts along the way. In all that time, I've never lost a finger. But the moment I call myself Lost No Fingers, a guar will tear off my arm. When my tribe left the Black Marsh, we brought along our native wildlife. None wanted the job, so I took charge. I prefer beasts to people. More pragmatic, less complicated, and you always know when one plans to eat you doesn't. But when you're the one who keeps the Wamasu calm, nobody gets on your bad side. Ha! I had you. The tribe sees one who remains calm in the face of danger. And with this comes respect. Simple as that. Be gone, outsider. You have no place here. I speak with warriors, not spoiled eggs. Your words are drenched in honey. How far do you stick your tongue up the beehive? Very well. Ask your questions. I hunt and I fish. I do it better than the rest. The others respect my strength. This tribe has forgotten how to survive. You want to know my role? I remind them what we left behind. No matter how far this tribe wanders, they will always bathe the elven boots with their tongues. Dark elves, high elves, a Nord with pointed ears would do. But some of us fought our slave masters. When they forget, I remind them. By Dominion, you mean Queen Irene. She's like any dark elf matron, but her lash is an army of Balmor lackeys. The wood elves and Khajiit are the worst kind of slaves. 
They'll pave her road to victory with their own blood, and thank her for the privilege. Enough questions. Utate called a meeting to discuss the barricades. If you're so eager to learn my thoughts, you should attend. Thank you for coming, all of you. We have all heard the grumblings, but if this is to be our home, we must end this talk of defying the Dominion. You tail-lifting fool! Do we ignore the slave pin they built around us? This wood elf god you follow corrupts your mind! If Frick can give us hatchling Slimjaw, peace with the Dominion is our only chance of survival. While you whisper to trees, the Dominion measures our wrists for manacles! I cannot allow this. Slimja, what are you saying? Utate, you turn our people away from the hist. I sanction you for your heresy. Slimja, Hail no. Sithis! I knew of Slimja's anger, but to murder Utate, madness. Didn't you hear her? She leapt crest first from the Cliffs of Madness. The anger has burned a hole through her good sense. Killing Udate must be part of a larger plan. Slimjaw was once a Shadow Scale, a holy assassin feared throughout Black Marsh. To sanction Udate as she did was a signal. Her hunters will lie in wait for whatever comes next. They'll fight to the death, so we need to fight harder. If one Dominion soldier dies at the hands of these fools, my entire tribe will pay for it. So yes, we need to kill them, if it isn't too much trouble. But have no fear. Comes when called can help you track them down. <laughs> that tiny guar sniffing at your ankle. Don't worry, it means he likes you. Sweep the beach camps for Slim Jaws hunters. I'll round up a few trusted friends and check the forest camps. We'll meet at the old sea cave west of the Grey Mire. We should hurry. If any of Slimjaw's hunters attack Dominion soldiers, my tribe is doomed. I trained the little one to work with the hunters. He's quite familiar with their scent. If they're around, he'll be happy to lead you to them. The hunters? Less happy. Right here.
can't stop Mother Lightning. Hail Sithis. It's such a fine day for fishing. I'll be out here a little longer, and then I'll return home. You're still breathing. Good. Breathing is good. Slimja is deeper in the sea cave. She's trying to gain control of Mother Lightning. If she manages this, the Dominion soldiers won't stand a chance. The giant lizards with lightning in their teeth are Wamasu. Mother Lightning laid their eggs and nurtured them to hatch it. Everything about her is twice their size. It pains me to say, but you'll need to put her down when you kill Slimja. I was once a shadow scale, just like Slimja. For me to kill her without sanction would be true heresy. I've lived my life without angering the Night Mother, and I'd rather not start now. But my friend Eager Teeth has no such restriction. Yes, the one chewing on that hunter's spine. She's a feisty one. I'll return to the village and chase away the Wamasu. If they sense Mother Lightning is in danger, they might stampede through the Grey Mire. Good luck, friend. But with Eager Teeth by your side, you shouldn't have much trouble. Argonians born under the sign of the Shadow are special. Some are taken at birth and trained as assassins. We followed the god Sithis, and through his consort wife we received sanctioned kills. I shouldn't say we. That life is long behind me. Slimja and I first came to this tribe as liberators. But for every Argonian we freed, the Dark Elves tortured ten. I refused to cause more pain for my people. When the tribe was exiled, I remained as a protector, but I was too slow to protect Utate. To the side!
You start Slimja then. Oh no, Eagerty didn't survive, did she? I see. You'll be missed, Eager Teeth. But this is no time to mourn. Officer Parwinel grows impatient with our tribe. Perhaps if you were to calm the waters, she would leave us be. None of the others will speak with her. They fear she'll find out about the fighting. So they cling to silence and hope I make it all go away. But I'm a terrible liar. There's no way I could disguise Utete and Slimjaw's absence. I don't want the tribe forced out of its home. These people, my people, they found hope in the Grey Maya. I don't want it wrenched away from them due to Slimjaw's foolish actions. If I may ask, what will you tell her? As you should. I just hope what you think is right is what's best for my tribe. Now just calm down. I haven't made any decisions yet. This is it. The Dominion plan to drive us out of Grotwood. My scouts reported sounds of battle along the beaches. This forces my hand. If I can't explain this immediately, my superiors will hear about this and assume the worst. I need you to tell me. I don't see any hunters here now, nor have I seen Utate or Slimjar. None of the guards saw anyone trying to head out of town. So where are they? I see. When they return, I want to speak with them. But for now, I won't need them for my report. About what we spoke of earlier, you're sure the Dominion has nothing to fear from these people? Then that's all I need for my report. My superiors won't be happy, but I'm sure they'll get used to the idea eventually. Thank you for seeing the truth of the matter. I hope to have those wretched wooden barricades down within the month. Argonians of the Grey Mire. As long as this tribe pledges itself to the Dominion, you will always have a home in Grotwood. If it means we belong, we'll pledge. Right, Shatuna? Yes, praise the Divines. Whatever allows us to stay. I'm glad you're all so excited. Please, if you have any questions, I'll answer what I can. I'm relieved this tribe can call the Grey Mire their home. If the Dominion can't honor the promises of its members, what good is it? Wonderful! Thought I'd be yapping here for eternity. Blasted wormies only have eyes for the empty ones. Very well! Tie me to your belt and we can get started. No time to lose! How can you breathe? You just do without thinking much about it. It's the same with me in talking! Or worm cultists digging up old bones. Didn't ask if they belonged to anyone, did they? The wormies just started making skeletons. Yes! Pieces of me are all over the place! It's rather disconcerting. I'm probably not the first skeleton you've had to reassemble, and I doubt I'll be the last. But once I'm walking again, we can figure out what the wormies want with the bone orchard. Deal? Ah! Quite the view from up here, eh? I'm at the landscape. Don't get any ideas. All right, let's find the rest of me. Try searching the wormy camps or knocking some skeletons around until my bits fall out. There's great danger ahead. from up here, eh? I'm at the landscape. Don't get any ideas. Efficient little nitwits. Could be part of me in every skeleton right. here. Let's find the rest of me. Try searching the wormy camp, sir. 
Knocking some skeletons around until my bits fall out. Look at all the dirt on my bones! I used to bathe weekly to keep myself presentable. Ah, that's the last one. Quickly now, drop my pieces on the ground and I'll put myself back together. The dig sites... The dig site's not too far away, just around the bend. One of these bends. I don't mind if you take your time. <laughs> I'm just happy to be walking again. You have no idea how good this feels, to be whole again, and walk with my own two legs, to have legs at all! Next? Oh, you mean the wormies! Can't leave them here, digging up bones that dig up bones? No idea! That's why we'll need to investigate, yes! That's the thing for us, investigations all around! Their biggest dig site is nearby, hard to miss it really, unless you're one to miss a hole in the ground. Charging off like Phil to near blood drunk, eh? Don't expect me to lend a hand. Perhaps a rib will do? Point it at any wormy skeleton and I'll have it fighting at your side. No, it's no trouble. You can thank me later. Onward to the dig site! What have they done? What does it look like? They dug up my barrow. What? Why? Wouldn't stop asking about the roots. The roots? Why would they care about the... Oh, no. Told them they were asking for trouble. But did they listen? Went right to the barrow bar. Idiots. Hey, friend. Listen, we have a problem. The wormies must be here for what's under the barrow bow. With enough of the little skeletons, they'll be able to dig up the big ones. I knew I shouldn't have said anything to that Ithruin fellow. The wormy leader told him he'd have no use for the big bones in the ground with the barrow bow to keep them sleeping. But if he digs up the barrow bow's roots, he'll kill it. Then he can build giant wormy skeletons to stomp around. You didn't notice it? The enormous tree in the middle of the bone orchard? Nobody takes a moment to look up these days. All this beauty directly above you, and you're staring straight at the dirt. Typical. There are others like Goradir sleeping beneath the barabao. 
If they knew what the Wormies wanted, they'd help. But we can't get there without Spinner Amario's help. And she's not too happy with me. She's up on the ridge overlooking the Bone Orchard. Maybe I shouldn't go with you. No, that's silly. I'm sure she'll be happy to see me. <laughs> but just to be prudent, I'll let you do the talking. Mario, we need your help. It's an emergency! Dringoth, who put you back together? Are you to blame for these worm cultists? Not at all. Well, not exactly. I'll let my friend fill you in. Why did you let Dringoth talk you into this? Do you know how much trouble he's brought to the Bone Orchard? My apologies. His very presence wears at my manners. What do you need? Yes. Their leader, Ethruin, made vague threats about me remaining inside. He's attempting to raise the old bones beneath the Barabo, but there's no way he'll do that before Elden Root sends a patrol. So I'm staying put. Dug up? But that would take weeks. How do they manage? Why? Those old bones are useless to them. The Barabo shields them from necromancy. But if they can dig up the Barabo's roots... Oh no. They plan to turn the old bones into an army! Here, this is Niranon's horn. Head beneath the Barabo and sound the horn before the gate. It's the only way inside, unless you want to help the worm cult with their digging. And don't let Dringoth sneak off with that horn. And have uncovered all this so quickly. We should hurry. If Niranon still stands, she'll let us through. She has to. Gatekeeper to the Barabao, a friend long ago. Not so fond of me in recent centuries. She'll understand why we need to get in, I'm sure of it. Who disturbs the heart of the Barabao? Niranon, enough with the theatrics! You need to let us in! Dringle! What are you doing here? Who is with you? And why are there intruders in the roots of the Barrow Bow? Dringoth, what have you done? Nothing, I'm trying to help! Once again you bring us suffering. Banishment is too good for you this time. What will you make us lose this time, Dringoth? Old Frost will not forgive you again. Why, Dringoth? Why return? Dringoth, you were banished, yet you dare return? Listen to me. We're in danger. Necromancers are trying to kill the Barabao. 
You warn of danger. Dringoth, who leveled nations with his girth. Your restlessness trapped us here in the first place. There are a vast number of elf bones in the bone orchard. If we all use them together, we can drive out the invader. Together? Since when have you done anything that wasn't for yourself? Once more you bring danger upon us, then beg for our help to end it. No longer! You'll remain beneath the barrow bow until the world forgets you! We have no quarrel with you, living one. Indeed, we thank you for your part in awakening us. The invaders in the barrow bow must be stopped. Because we must punish him for his transgressions. The elf bone shell to which he was banished will no longer suit him. We'll return him to the old skull around which the barrow bow first grew. The very skull that surrounds this room. Dringoth's crimes are unforgivable. We once sought a true death in the farthest reaches of the world, but his aimless wanderings led to our imprisonment. Here, we can never die. Perhaps we were too hasty. Very well. Because Dringoth broke his exile only to warn us of so great a threat, we'll allow him to leave us in peace, but only if he aids us in driving out the invaders. Enemies at the inner gate! Come quickly, we'll drive out the worm cult! If it weren't for you, I'd be well and truly buried right now. You're a real friend. They'll never make us their slaves. Shatter the bones they steal from the restful dead. And say I'll miss throwing back wave after wave of wormies and their bony minions. But now I have a chance to see the world, meet new and interesting people. Only now I won't accidentally smash everything in my path. <laughs> Rather embarrassing, that. See the world, I expect. Folks may not take kindly to chattering elf bones, but it's better than stomping everything to jelly, eh? I'm sure I'll see you around. The world's only so big. Bigger now, I expect. Ooh, how exciting! You know, I hadn't thought about it. I usually just pick a direction and start walking. Though sometimes that doesn't work out so well. Take the Sea of Ghosts. Seems like a fun jaunt, yeah? Up north, very north, lots of water. Ice like you wouldn't believe. But the barnacles, oh, do they chafe. Took me a decade rolling around in desert sands to rid myself of those. <laughs> oh yes, loved it. Warm, dry, and the sand feels so good on my bones. Unfortunately, the people there aren't big on walking skeletons. <laughs> Not many are, but there in particular. Hmm. I was on my best behavior too. They had no need to react like that. When they saw me coming, they took for the hills. The caves, whatever was available to hide in. By the time I reached a city, it would be completely deserted. Made me terribly lonely. But that was long ago. I should visit, see how things have changed. A heated battle. I haven't felt its like in ages. With luck, the invaders will crawl away from this place and leave us to our slumber. There's great danger ahead. South Point is currently off limits. You'll need to keep back for your own safety. 
The citizens of South Point are killing each other in the streets. It's... I've seen nothing like it. Captain Alanthor may need help evacuating survivors. You'll find him by the road, outside the town. I'm looking for work. Know anyone who needs a hauler? I'm real good at breaking down tents, packing them up, and, and hauling them where they need to be unpacked and pitched. And don't say carnival. I'm done with carnivals. I was working in the carnival near Elden Root. It wasn't a bad job, but the owner, Sarandel, doesn't know what she's doing. We came all the way from the Somerset Isles, and now the performers can't put on their acts. I don't know the details. Look, Sarandel can tell you herself. Me? I'm done with that operation. Dominion truth. Turn back, citizen. South Point is... I don't know what to call it exactly. I sent three of my best scouts into South Point to answer that very question, but none returned. Until I know their fates, I can't request reinforcements. But I won't send anyone else inside until I know what happened to my scouts. You see my predicament. I certainly won't stop you. One of South Point's citizens also offered to help find the scouts. But she seemed a bit... eccentric. Perhaps she has something to offer beyond alarming theories? You should know, Dereneth has some sort of position in Elden Root. Seems to think her reputation precedes her. No need to kiss the hem of her robes, but she's far less prickly if you show her some respect. Last I saw Dereneth, she was taking shelter in one of the tents. I could do without this damnable rain. It's been storming since we arrived, and it shows no sign of letting up. Ask what you will. I don't care to speculate. I can only act upon what I know. It's apparent that the townsfolk have caused harm to themselves and others within South Point. Yes, it seems they've all gone mad. But until I know for certain, all I can do is hope to contain it. Strange reports arrived in Elden Root a week ago. Little things, people acting oddly. But when a South Point guard delivered his own severed tongue to the Altmer Embassy, someone noticed. If we weren't spread so thin, we'd have been here earlier. General Endari pulled her entire company from the Haven and left for parts unknown. In her absence, we filled the gaps. I tried to commandeer forces from the Grey Mire, but the Thalmor Inner Council considers Argonian refugees a greater threat in their wisdom. Did someone call my name? Did Captain Alanthor send you to mock me? Did you come to tell me I don't know the work of a Daedric Prince when I see one? Isn't it obvious? Madness swept through South Point like a plague, and so quickly. Only one Daedric Prince has such power. Cheogoreth, Daedric Prince of Madness. You have heard of him, haven't you? Doesn't seem like it's mustering up any excitement. I'm exceptionally concerned. It is my home, after all. Was I'd rather show my concern by doing something about the problem. The captain wanted to find his scouts, didn't he? We should get going. Of course, you need someone who knows the town, and I need someone with whom to take a stroll in this lovely rain. No use arguing. I've been getting my way since before you were born. Or do you want a sweet old woman to show more courage than you? and 
dangerous. We should check the homes, be neighborly, see if those inside know where the scouts are. Hmm, no scout. And I do hope that smell came out of an animal. South Point was such a grimy place. The new mayor is really cleaning things up, don't you agree? Killing? Oh, do you mean the cleaning brigades? Don't you worry about them. They're simply doing what they must to make South Point sparkle. Oh no, I can't leave my home until it's entirely clean. Besides, the mayor said none of us can leave, and we all know what happens when we don't listen to the mayor. You're trussed up or you're thrown in the catacombs. Either way, you deserve it for disobeying the mayor. He's a just man, a righteous man. We should heed his words, every one of them. Dominion? South Point is no longer part of the Dominion. The mayor decreed it. If Dominion scouts marched their muddy boots onto our streets, we'd trust them all up. No scouts here, just my neighbor. Although this is certainly an interesting arrangement. I do apologize, but I can't speak right now. I must prepare the beds for their arrival. The Eight Divines, of course. I won't be caught with unmade beds. I saw a few Dominion soldiers a few hours ago. I believe the mayor promised their meat to the Wood Elves, but I could be wrong. There were sheets to wash. The Wood Elves are going to eat their hearts, I imagine. It's what they do, isn't it? Eat the hearts of their enemies? But if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare for their arrival. It's not time yet. The mayor said you can't eat me until dinner. Praise Arke. This entire town has gone mad. We should have informed Captain Elonthor immediately, but I insisted we press on. If we'd fallen back, maybe my scouts would still be themselves. The mad people brought us to their mayor. I don't know how he did it, but he turned my scouts into bears. Bears! I thought he'd do the same to me, but he changed his mind. Said the town folks should have me for dinner. He locked himself in that big cathedral, saw the doors flare up briefly, glowing as bright as the sky, and then it faded. Magic keeps them shut, I'm sure of it. I've had enough of this place. Please untie me. I need to warn Captain Alonthor. I'm getting out of here. I recommend you do the same. This mayor seems a charming fellow. 
We should decide what must be done about him. The fire warms us when we're cold, but burns us when we're close. No matter how much you feed it, its hunger never ends. The fire is sublime. Soldiers turned into bears, people setting themselves on fire, and now a mad mayor locked in a cathedral. I know I should be horrified, but it all sounds so exciting. Hmm. Oh, I suppose I can reverse the effects of the mayor's magic. After many, many years of honing my craft, this should be a simple matter. But if we're hunting bears, I'll need you to be the bait. I'm an old woman, and such magic requires precision. Wrestling with bears impedes precision. Slap them about their faces, throw sticks at them, call them harsh names, however you must. Keep their attention while I do the complex part. I have an old scroll tucked away in my basement laboratory. If we have it in hand, it won't matter how tightly he's locked that cathedral door. But first, we should rid South Point of its bear problem. Shall we? Thank you. I can leave this nightmare. Well, you can. That wasn't so difficult, was it? Now let's head to my laboratory. We'll need that scroll to get into the cathedral. We won't make it inside my laboratory unless we stop the lightning. If someone conjured this storm, they do it from somewhere they could see everything in South Point. There's an old Colovian tower nearby. It's the highest point in the town, aside from the cathedral. I have plenty to go around! You get the lightning! Now you get the lightning! What are you doing here? I don't know you. So what if I am? 
They called me an angry drunk, said I'd never amount to anything. But now I have the lightning, and I'll give it to anyone who makes me mad. Shut your mouth and walk away, or you'll get the lightning, just like all the others. I don't need to listen to this. I'll show you, like I did them. Nobody pushes Rufinus around! Think you can talk down to me? I'll roast you on a lightning spit. Your lungs will fry so fast they pop like kernels in a skillet. I'll make your eyes burst out of your face. You aren't better than me! What are you talking about? You're right. You're absolutely right. I pushed everyone away, and then hated them for leaving me behind. Thank you for helping me realize I'm the source of my own problems. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I just... I wasn't expecting that. You, we should head to my laboratory, now that the storm's clearing and all. Ah, oh, yes, it's on my desk. Yes, over there. Do you see it? Let's head to the cathedral. We're the last people the mayor will expect. Kill me, Daedra! Him. Let me see if I can talk some sense into him. Who's there? How did you get in? Go. I want to be alone. Don't you recognize me, Mayor Olis? Dereneth. Thank the Divines. Sheogorath did this, all of it. He used me. And how exactly did he use you? He promised me power, the respect I deserve. But then he cursed my tongue with madness and let me make a mess of this town. You're so pitiful, even for a mortal. What? You heard me! Oh, I've always wanted to meet a person within a person. Tell me, what's it like? Um, I'm so sorry, Sheogorath. I thought you'd abandoned me. Howley, I left you a tongue that drives people mad! But I suppose if you don't want my gift, I can take it from your mouth and give it to my new favorite mortal friend! Oh, no. think of all I've built here. The wonderful screams I've created all in your name. Doesn't that make me your favorite? Oh, very well. Sorry, my second favorite mortal friend. We had a good run, but it's time for your curtain. Good. You're finally coming out of it. We should... reintroduce ourselves. I don't remember how I came to be here in the cell. When I woke, you were just standing there, foaming at the mouth. Count yourself lucky that Sheogorath had no desire to treat you like a puppet, unlike myself. I was in Elden Root when I heard some of the strange rumors coming from South Point. When I returned here, I recognized the signs. But when I arrived at my laboratory, Sheogorath was already there, dancing. Then I was dancing. After that, it 
all went dark. I saw and heard everything we did, but I couldn't affect a thing. It was a waking nightmare. My own mind, a prison. I expected him to kill us both, but we're here, aren't we? Best not to think of it. Applying logic to the mad god is... unwise. Mayor Olus happened. He's always blamed others for his own shortcomings, but I never realized he'd been touched by Sheogorath. The only way the madness will end is with his death. He has the power to remake South Point in his image, to the Mad God's delight. Where Mayor Arlis goes, Sheogorath won't be far behind. I see no other way. Unless you convince Sheogorath to take him back to Oblivion, but arguing with the Mad God is folly. I don't see how. Those bars are thicker than sword blades. We aren't going anywhere. It seems Sheogorath made a few changes to these catacombs. There were never any prison cells below the cathedral. I already tried. It seems Mayor Orlis found my magic somehow. I'd say it's maddening, but less so than having a Daedric Prince steer you around like a carriage. When they come for us, we can try to fight our way out. If they come for us. Such despair! <laughs> Richer than a cheese sorbet! I see you've reacquainted yourself with Daraneth! Unacquainted? Unrequited! There, there. She'll come around to you, like I did. Mayor Aulus is a curd in the soup. A real fly in the way. Don't you say? Made a mess of me gift. The kind from the wrong end of a dog. I tried to encourage him. Even brought him a hero to destroy. But he couldn't go through with it. Can you imagine? I led you right here to make it all boring again. And what did he do to stop you? Nothing. There I stood, in my best old lady suit, and he said it was all my fault. Ah, he just needs motivation. What better than an escaped prisoner seeking vengeance? Could you kill someone you love? I can't. Well, I have. But not Mayor Aulis. It would be too... pedestrian. No. I want you to try killing him. I want him to reach deep down. Below all the marmalade and crushing failures defining his life, to find a seed of confidence and grow it into a tree of gumption he'll use to beat your brains to paste. But if not, any brain paste will do. <laughs> Even his. Deal. Oh, and one more thing. Daraneth stays behind. If you bore me too much, I turn her into a goose. Roast her, and feed her to you covered in fine Adar glaze. The goose, I mean. It's a bit chilly for my Adar pants. And make it entertaining, would you? After spending so much time in this town, I finally know where the Colovians keep their fur hats! This is your chance to fix this mess. Go, deal with the mayor. If South Point bores him, Sheogorath will leave. I'll be fine. There's still a chance to stop this. And after all Mayor Orlos has done, you shouldn't feel the need to hold back. All ready board! Here, I brought you some presents. The shiny ones are always the best, wouldn't you say? Just kill me, you crazy freak. Wait. You're not him. You are dancing. Who are you? I did. I had had a few drinks, and then I must have... blacked out. Woke up here a while ago, tried to sleep, but I kept dreaming of the same man. Wouldn't stop dancing. Can't sleep. Or the man dances. I don't want to dance with him. I I'm coming with you. Good. Still have a bit of lightning inside me. I'll help you get to him, so we can bash his face in. Uh, 
washed it away. Really got to the cracks there. That was the man dancing in my dreams. Isn't your day, but your uncle Shayagorath can make it better. I can never decide between choice and free will, which will triumph in the end. But why not settle the matter for me? Or you could yank a lever, but that's hardly fun for either of us. I just told you, choice and free will are subjects I hold quite dear. So, you could fight a very good friend of mine, or you can pull another lever. Your choice. Oh, all right, but do it with gusto. Remember, with gusto, a big steaming pile of it. for a moxie fondue. Mm. Fondue. Mm. What was I saying? My head. What do you mean, coming to kill me? It's a gift, a chance to shine, to prove you have some backbone that won't snap at the lightest touch. Really, Audi, I'm quite fond of you. Ooh, fondue. Uh, what was I saying? That you're fond of me. That you don't want to watch me die. Watch you die horribly. All alone. And laughing my head off when it happens. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound like me, does it? But I'm sure you can work the matter out for yourself. Please, don't do this. Maybe we can work something out. It's not fair. I never wanted this, any of this. Now I'm to die for it. But you're reasonable, aren't you? We can talk about this. Work something out. You do have a choice. Not like me. Sheogorath listened to me. Said he would take me down a golden path. Nobody in South Point ever respected me or gave me a chance to prove who I could truly be. What choice did I have but to make them all see who I really am? My family ruled South Point for generations, but after we lost everything, where was my birthright then? They wouldn't bow to me as they should, so now I've made them bow. It's the burden a true leader must bear. I shouldn't have to die for it. Wait, that's it. I'll go away with him. 
If he'll have me, just let me try to convince him. Besides, there's not much of South Point left. It's a bit used up, don't you think? Sheogorath, I've been thinking. South Point can't truly appreciate your gift. But if you brought me to the Shivering Isles, I'd fit right in. You want to go where you like all the others? Where you can be a, a shank of bacon in a house built of bacon shanks? No, I mean, think of how I could use your gift in a place that truly understood me. Well, I suppose you'll make a fine addition to the garden. <laughs> Very well, the killing's off. I couldn't bring you to my home with more holes in you than when we first met. Just not proper. Thank you, Sheogorath. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see my new home. I'll send you ahead. I need a moment to speak with my second favorite mortal. But don't mind the Grumites. They always smell that way. <laughs> Choice wins again. Really tugs at the heartstrings. Careful with those. Yank too hard and the blood goes everywhere but up. <laughs> I really do admire this town. Shame I can't take it with me. Oh, but can't I? I know just where to put it. We did, did we? Oh, well, I suppose you're right. Owly and I can always visit. Perhaps during hurricane season. <laughs> That'd be delightful. Don't be a stranger! Thanks for saving my hide. They were trying to find a big enough pot to boil me. The scouts you rescued brought reinforcements from Elden Root. We subdued the townsfolk for their own protection. Tell me, what happened in the cathedral? What? I thought Dereneth was mad. A Daedric prince in Gratwood? Is he in the cathedral? We should clear the town. You? Well, thank the Eight Divines. Where is this Mayor Aulus all the crazed citizens mentioned? I'd like a word with him. I would have preferred a public execution. After what he did to this town, I hope he finds a slow death in the Shivering Isles. We'll escort them to Eldenwood. Hopefully the Mages' Guild can look into their madness. As for South Point, we'll remain here to help rebuild. After this, what else can we do? It seems Sheogorath held up his end of the deal. I felt his... absence, I should likely say. I was able to open a portal here without any difficulty. I tried to tell Captain Elanthor what happened, but he wouldn't listen. In his youth, I took him as an apprentice. He was lazy, a bit reckless, and nearly set my laboratory afire on three occasions. His childhood was quite difficult, but that's no excuse for his actions. Long ago, his bloodline ruled South Point. He was a child who thought the town would one day be his, but his parents died in a fire when he was young, and he lost everything. I thought by taking him on as a pupil, I could teach him humility. I was wrong. I'll return to Elden Root until Captain Elanthor sorts out the reconstruction. You're welcome to visit anytime you wish. You know, my time as a bear was somewhat liberating. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad you saved me, but it was fun while it lasted. I continually pray to the aid for the sanity of the townsfolk. Keep them in your heart, please, for their minds are not their own.
Shoo! Away with you. Stay out of my garden. <laughs> he could be the green lady's personal bard and I still wouldn't know him. The truth is, I keep myself to myself. I have certain tastes my people frown upon. None of your business. And before you get any ideas, you should know this garden is for aesthetic purposes only. Now please leave. What are you doing to my clothes? Now join the audience. I was beginning to wonder if I'd ever see you again. Any news? W what? Is it my Saurian? Is he... is he alright? It was inevitable. The only person he really loved was himself. It was only a matter of time before one of his... true loves objected. I will miss him dearly. I did love him in spite of everything. But I could not change him. Thank you. Please enjoy our attractions. I'm terribly sorry they're so limited at the moment. I convinced my performers to come here, to spread high elf culture in these lands. Bring a little piece of Somerset to Grotwood, you see? But the train bugs are sick, our magician supplies are missing, and our storytellers' stories fell flat. None of us know the area well enough to resolve these matters. Now we're a carnival, with nothing but a fortune teller. Huzzah! 
I'd gladly pay the coin provided by the Somerset Cultural Expansion Council to anyone who would help us put on the show. My performers can best explain their setbacks. Corner is our bug trainer, Norian, our storyteller, and Vindare the Magnificent is, well, she's magnificent. I have to describe her that way. It's in her contract. Look at them. Limbs so sluggish and carapaces dreadfully dull. When you've raised the shock since they were pupae, it gnaws at your heart to see them so listless. They're having trouble managing the local grass. So I've put them on an all-hay diet. And the climate. It's more humid than they're used to in Somerset. If I didn't know any better, I'd say they were homesick. When they were younger, I'd grind mud crab eyes into paste and give it to them as a treat. I think it would raise their spirits again. But nobody sells mud crab eyes. And I can't leave my shocks to fade away while I scour the coasts. I would forever be in your debt, my friend. A dozen would be enough to go around if you wouldn't mind. And I won't mind if they're a little mashed when I get them. Saves me some work. I'm sorry, but I have nothing to say. That is my problem. I literally have nothing to say to these people. All my stories about the amazing deeds of long-dead high elves. The first rule of my profession is to know your audience, and Grotwood is not a place to tell such tales. I plan to seek out wood elf stories in taverns and libraries, but since we arrived, I've heard of countless troubles in Grotwood. The Worm Cult, pirates, wood elf rebels. It's all the same. I'd rather keep to the safety of the carnival. The wood elves rarely write their stories down, but I heard Scholar Glorolan in the Elden Root Mages Guild is the one to ask. If you're headed that way, would you mind asking for a book? It could be written in Old Akaviri for all I care. Anything would help. I hope you didn't travel from far away just to see Vendare the Magnificent. I am not performing at present. My magic cannot function safely in front of a crowd. The, uh, stars are out of alignment. Oh, did she? Did she also tell you how she promised that would make ten times our normal take by coming to this godforsaken backwater? Did she mention how she said shipping my supplies wouldn't be an issue? The shipping was fine. It's the delivery where it fell apart. My belongings arrived at the docks of Haven without incident. But due to the recent problems in the city, no one has any idea when deliveries will resume. As far as I'm aware, yes. They're in the nicest looking trunk on the dock. I had it touched up by a painter in Matisse, you know. But with the pirate attack, who knows when Haven will be stable enough to deliver their backlog of shipments. I couldn't ask you to lug that heavy monstrosity all the way here. It's triple reinforced steel with an inch thick lead interior. It discourages my competition from snooping. I just need the supplies inside, if you wouldn't mind, of course. How'd you like to help a person in need? The feral beast ruined everything. I don't know how the Bosma survive out in the wilderness like this. 
Like living in a war without purpose. Savages. I was part of a research expedition sent to investigate the ruins of Root Sunder, an Ultima city swallowed by the jungle centuries ago. I took a short leave to retrieve supplies, and when I got back, the ruins were swarming with wild animals. What? No, they're dead. What I need is their journals. Each researcher kept notes on their finds. If I can get the journals to Elden Root, the expedition isn't a complete waste. But I won't risk going in there. Would be safer running off a cliff. It's surprising to get help from a stranger out here. Thank you. Three journals should be enough. Knowing the horse and dogs that live out here, I mean that literally, I'm assuming at least one was eaten or defecated on. This city was part of an early colonization attempt. The jungle was infamous for being untamable, but our best minds took that as a challenge. The story goes they built a sprawling metropolis, and then it vanished, never to be seen. Honestly, who knows? Root Sunder has been a ghost story for centuries. There may have never been a real Root Sunder, but this certainly looks like a lost city. And if it will get my name in published papers, I'll swear it's Root Sunder all day. Over here! You... Have you come to help me? So you didn't come to help? I'm trapped in a lower chamber. Only thing I could do was use the Welkin Stones here to project my being through these ruins. Wait for assistance. The door to my freedom won't budge. Follow the path east until you find the central chamber, marked by the large Welkin Stone growths. You'll find the door there. Please, hurry. I'm not sure how long I can survive down here.
door is there. To the west. Just a little bit further. It will be over soon.
apologies, flesh thing. Theodore is long dead. We took his form to bring you here. You sought Theodore's attunement stone? You seek to free us? You will die as Theodore did. Things rooted us here, so we ended them, consumed them. You seek to free us with the attunement stone? Don't cover. We don't covet freedom, we covet your flesh. You cannot run from us, flesh thing. Everywhere you go, we are there. to free us with Sid or Stone? We already did. We don't need your kindness. It comes ages too long. And if you think we won't play you when we're free, we believe sharp laughter is the way your kind will respond. This is unpleasant. Our mind feels pulled apart. Reminds us of the soul. We are free of the Elf Thing's prison. We apologize for what we tried to do. We were mad with hunger, unable to nourish ourselves within the walls. We were not ourselves. The air feeds us now. We are the jungle. We were trapped in the city of stone by the Elf Things, unable to drink from the sun. But you have freed us. Even now, the green calls us back to the fold. We will do what we can to atone. We thank you. All that we can do, all that we can become, now that we are free, is halting. We do not know where to begin. Return to the green. We could lose ourselves in the wind, or kindle in the sun, or join the rivers and wash away. But we are slow to choose. We would return them if we could. But in our captivity, in our desperate famine, we consumed them. They will never be forgotten. Every fiber we took from them, we remember. In your honor and theirs, we will never take from flesh things again.
Oh, you're back. So you weren't eaten by lions then. Good. Did you have any luck with the journals? Oh, excellent. Let me see. Oh my, look at this gibberish. Driven insane by ancient ruins. This is a gold mine. The pseudo-intellectuals of Elden Root love this stuff. The commentary volumes alone will keep me employed for years to come. The Dread Lady described you well. Come and speak with me. Mm, yes, yes, my vision dream speaks true. You are the one my mistress seeks. You believe all you hear. A Daedric prince. Did your sister see a clutch of butterflies when she was there? Believe what you like. I'm glad things have gone down there, whatever the cause. <laughs> 